Hello, this is、uh, Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ Programming on Linux. In this short video, we are going to discuss SSH. So SSH stands for the Secure Shell. Shell. So SSH or Secure Shell is a cryptographic network protocol for Operating network service securely over a unsecured network. So it's very useful security、uh, network protocol, which we can working on the unsecured network. For for instance, the internet, which is securely work on that、uh, unsecured network. So typically, so application include remote command line login or remote command. Executions. So this is a typical SSH be used for network program. So net SSH provide a secure channel, which over a unsecure network by using client server architecture. So client server is like we can operating from the laptop, desktop, or mobile device over. Unsecured network like internet to operating on our server securely. So it is a very useful protocol for network distributed programming application. So here on Linux, we just example. We are going to create a simple SSH client to connect to a remote server to run a. Command executions. So in order to write SSH program, the library you are using is lib SSH. So lib SSH is free, can be downloaded from the internet, and also reference can be found document can be found on the internet too. If your laptop Linux has not been installed, lib SSH. We can use on the Linux to log into the super user to run the command sudo sudo apt dash get install lib dev. So after we do that, and as you can see, your lib dev is installed on the newest version. Here, here is on my laptop、uh, Linux, which says already newest version zero eight seven. So. Let's back to our terminal. So, in order to write SSH client, so we we have first we write a program which is called SSH underscore client. We take three parameters or argument. First is the server. Second is the port. Third is the login ID. So, so for writing this client, we have to the step one is start a new SSH session. Which use sh underscore new function and return is called I call my m ss session. Its type is sh underscore session. So after we success started the new session, second step is the set up session options. So we basically set up three session option using use function called sh underscore option underscore set. This function takes three parameters. First is the session which we started. Second is the is the which option says、so、we're going to set up option host, and we got from argument one which is the server, and the second we set is the option log verbose city which is the log level how which level you want to show the connection. And the third is we set up is the port which we get from the argument, the second argument which we converted to the integer, and after we get from the session option set, what we do the step three is session connect to remote. So what function we use is ssh underscore connect, the parameter we pass. Is my session. If this connection is okay, we go to the step four. 
So step four is authenticate login ID and the password. So we using the gate password to get the password from the terminal and uh, we using the SSH underscore user out password to authenticate our password. So this take uh, three parameters session, login ID, which from the argument command line and the password, which we get from this function, we type in from the terminal. After this authentic success, we create a function, we can call the execute command on remote. So we create a command called the run remote, uh, we create a function called the run remote command, we pass the session. So let's uh, go to check what the function does. This run remote command is step one. We receive this session. So first we define the SH underscore channel called the channel. And first we start a channel using the SSH underscore channel underscore new, which is session. So on this session, we start a new channel. After we successfully start the channel, we start a channel on this channel we open a sub session and this channel open a sub session which for our to run in the command so after we create a sub session we send a request execute request to the channel which is the remote server so this take a two parameters well for this channel which we created and the second is the watch command we are going to run it on remote. So let's uh, we here we just uh, hard code rs minor star dot txt. So we send this command request to remote. And uh, after that, step four, which we read remote response back. So we using the ss underscore channel read function to read this channel to the buffer, which buffer we declared 256 byte, uh, we can declare more of this. So we just declare 256 and we just use this function to read. And this function returned is any byte, is how many bytes we read back from the remote. If this byte is bigger than zero, we just stand, uh, print out the buffer to see what we get back from the remote. We make a loop, continue, read and print till this byte equals zero or less than zero. So and after we finish the read, remote response bound back, we send the EOD to the remote. So it's a, we send the EOD, we send the channel end. Uh, EOF end of uh, EOF to the channel we call the ch sh underscore send underscore EOF so EOF stands for the end of a file so this channel can be considered a file descriptor so we read like a uh, here we make a loop read like uh, we read a file from the remote channel so after we send a uh, end of a file of channel we step six is close channel using the ssh and channel underscore close so after every times we have to send eof and the channel close to the remote because every time you we open a channel the remote server has opened the memory or resource for our connections so when we finished we have to send this to tell the remote which we they have to free their memory. Otherwise, uh, you know, the memory of a remote will be uh, increased, you know, there's memory leaking on the remote server. So and other that, we free our channel. So we free the memory. So now we go back to our main function. So after we finish the running command on the remote, we step six is disconnect and free the session. This is a very important tool because we disconnect session, which we completely 
free the memory or resource on the remote server. So we save this, we make compile. So this is a binary, we just build executable. So we say our client, our SH client, which takes three parameters. First one is the server, uh, we call the put 27.0.0.1, which is a local host, host. And if we have another Linux, we can use in the, another Linux uh, server address, but in this case, demo, we just use the local host, the part is 22, why the part is 22, to see here on the SSH, we give us a, the standard TCP part for SSH is 22, so, so the part number is 22, and there's a login ID, so, so they ask a password, after we keep in password, they did ls manual star.txt. Let's verify this with uh, with uh, sh command. So when they put uh, so now we use the sh command similar as our sh client. And this is a very common, which ls manual star.txt. You can see our client and the sh result from the sh command is exactly the same. Hello, this is Hui. Thank you to watch my video. Hopefully this is useful, enjoyable and uh, it's going to be great to have your feedback. Thank you.